Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bitterman Studios, and I want to show you another advanced form of Object State Maker or OSM. So I'm going to start off by creating a sphere, and uh, I'm just going to zero it out. And I'm going to add the Object State Maker script to it, as well as a click event. So on click, we're going to change the state. And when we click, I want to change the state to load. And uh, this is going to be on my initial state, so I'm going to call this initial. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from load to initial. And I'm going to stretch this and I'm going to call this load. So uh, if you check this out, on my initial state it switches to load and on its load state it switches to initial with the same on click event. So if I play it and I click the sphere, it's going to go to load, and if I click it again, it's going to go back to initial. So I'm using the same exact script, but it's changing its, uh, st what it's loading because it's changing the state. Because uh, just like any other script, the on-click event is just a script that's written. You have the source code for it, uh, just as if it was your own script. Um, and saving the states saves the variables of that script as well. So you'll be able to not have to make uh, 10 different like click events and weird things. You can actually change the state of uh, what it's loading in its current state. So that's a cool way to do this. Uh, you can think of it as recursion or something like that. So uh, yeah, um, I hope you enjoy.